Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you how to transfer Ethereum from Qcoin to Metamask. So the first thing you'll need to do is to go over to Qcoin and log in. Once you're logged in, you need to go over to the top right and then go over to Assets. Here, you'll need to click on Main Account. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. As you can see, I don't have any coins available on Qcoin right now, but what you need to do is to go over to Ethereum and then go over to the Withdrawal button. You'll then be sent over to the Withdrawal page of Qcoin and over on this page you will also see that the first thing you need to fill in is the wallet address. This is the address you want to transfer to. So to find this address you need to go over to Metamask. If you're using Google you can go over to the extension page and then click on Metamask. Now I always like to press on those three buttons and then click on expand view because by doing so you'll get Metamask in full screen. So once you're on this page you can go over to the top right and then you need to make sure that you have the Ethereum mainnet selected. Once you have the Ethereum mainnet selected, you can go over to account, it doesn't matter what the name is, and then you need to click on copy to clipboard. As you can see right now I've copied my address, so I can go back over to Qcoin and paste my wallet address in. Now the next thing I need to do is to select the network I want to use. In this case that's ARC20. As you can see the ARC20 tokens are issued on the Ethereum network. So once you have selected the wallet address and the network, you can go ahead and fill in the amount of Ethereum you would like to transfer. Like I said, I don't have any Ethereum available right now, but for the example, I'll go ahead and fill in one Ethereum. You can also click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. And once you have filled in the amount of Ethereum you want to transfer, the last thing you need to do is to click on confirm. Now, if you have any two-factor authentication enabled, you'll have to go through the security verification process, but that is quite easy because all you need to do is to fill in your two-factor authentication code. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.